Hello, my name is Helen, and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix a dripping kitchen tap. Power tools from everywhere. So what you'll need to complete this task is a pair of screwdrivers, one with a flat head, one with a cross head, an adjustable spanner, and a set of Allen keys. So, as you can see, I've got loads of taps in front of me. There are loads of different types of taps in your house, but the most common ones you'll find in your kitchen sink is this type and this type, and I'm going to be showing you how to fix them both if they're dripping. So, before you touch any of the waterworks in your house, you must know how to turn off the water. Now, the most common way to do that is by finding your stopcock. The stopcock is the tap that turns off the water to your whole house and it's essential that you know where it is and it's essential that it can be turned on and off. Better still, look underneath the tap that you're working on. You could have an isolating valve. That's a valve that looks a little bit like this. It could be brass or it could be chrome and it has a screw front. As you can see, the slot on the screw is running in the same direction as the pipe. That means that it's on. In order to turn it off, you'd get a flat-headed screwdriver into the slot and just turn it so that the slot runs across the pipe. Once it's running across the pipe, you know the water's turned off. Power tools for every woman. Power tools for every woman. So let's start with a more traditional sort of tap. I'm going to show you how to dismantle it, find the washer and change it. First thing you do is you unscrew the top like that. Inside there you'll notice there's a screw. So we undo the screw. You pull that off. If you keep the screw in there, it won't get lost. Next, you take off the shroud. Just literally unscrew it. Something to remember, always put the plug in the sink. You don't want to lose any of these things down the sink. With your adjustable spanner, there's the body of the tap. You undo this by going anti-clockwise. Once you've loosened it, you can take it off with your hands. Okay, so let's just undo that. And there's the washer. Sometimes the washers are held on by a little nut like this one is. Sometimes they just ping off. This one has got a nut, so I'll need to adjust my spanner down, undo the nut. Again, just loosen it with my fingers, take it out. There's the washer pings off. You can see this one's quite ridged and it does need replacing. You can take this down to your merchant and get one that's exactly the same size as this. You simply, once you've done that, you put it back on, put the nut back on. You don't need to tighten it up massively. You just get your spanner and tighten it up just until it stops. You don't have to go mad. Put the shroud back on, your head with the screw, tighten the screw up and then just put the cap back on. Turn the water on, job done. Power tools for every woman, power tools for every woman. So now we're going to have a look at this more modern tap that you'll find a lot on your kitchen sinks now. Let's just move the spout out of the way so you can have a good view of what's going on. You'll see there's a cap here. Also, you can unscrew this and that really gives you a good view of the whole thing. This cap will pop off. Be careful not to lose it. So I'm just going to put my thumb underneath it and just pop it off. There it is. And you'll see the hole. Inside there is your Allen screw that holds this onto the tap. It's a two millimeter Allen key you need. Put it in there. Very fiddly, but with this good view, you can see I've got it in there now and I'm undoing it anti-clockwise. Be careful not to undo it too much because otherwise you lose it and that'll be a nightmare. So you've undone it just a little bit. A good tip here is while you're undoing it is to wiggle the thing. And when it's loose enough to come off, stop. Then you'll see that the Allen screw stays in and you're not going to lose it. Put those to one side. Then undo the decorative, this is just a decorative shroud here, undo that. That should just be hand tight. Then you'll need a spanner, because we're getting now to the business end of it. Anti-clockwise, 
to undo. Once you've loosened it, again, it should be hand loose. You should be able to take it off. And here is your cartridge. You'll see there's a pattern of a funny rubber washer under there. There are hundreds of different types of these on the market, so you must take this to your plumber's merchant, not DIY shop, plumber's merchant, and they may have one of these in stock. If not, there's a number, an ID number on there that you can find one from the internet. So when you've got your new cartridge, you'll also notice under here that there are two lugs. They will help you to relocate the cartridge back into the body correctly, because in the tap body, there are two holes and that locates into there. Put it in, you'll know it's located correctly because it won't turn. Then get your retaining nut. Now, if you're finding it difficult to locate the threads, just turn it backwards till you hear a little click like that, and then turn it forwards clockwise for tighten. Hand tighten. Once you've hand tightened it, get your spanner clockwise direction until it stops. Don't go too mad with it. Then your decorative shroud goes back on. Then the head will go back on. There's another good tip here. Get your two millimeter Allen key, locate it into the screw like that before you put the thing on. Then if you go like that and then put it on, then you can tighten up the Allen key. Once it's tightened up enough, you don't have to go mad, just until that doesn't come off. You can put your cap back in, like that, then screw the handle back on. Then you're ready to turn the water back on. A tip here is to leave your taps turned off. And then once you've turned the stop tap on, turn your tap on then. Again, turn your tap off. Get your screwdriver. Turn your isolating valves on. By the way, there should be one for hot and for cold. Then slowly lift up your lever and turn your tap on and test both ways. You know, plumbing can seem intimidating for the best of us. But you know, once you've got the water turned off, there's not that much that can go wrong. Have a go.